We're going to start by adding some fields to our database. To do that, from your My record screen, go up to Settings, Customize, Create and Change Fields. We're going to add three fields, one a date, one a text, and one a checkbox. So we're going to start by clicking on Add Field. We're going to give it a name. We want to change the type to date. That means that only data that is formatted in the proper format will go into that field. You have several options under type. Character currency, date, initial cap capitals, lowercase, numeric, phone, time. They all have to do with the formatting you will find on that field. Changing it once you've set it could cause you to lose, lose data such as if you try to have a character field with alphanumeric in it and change it to a numeric field, any field that has alpha characters in it would lose that data. So you want to be careful not to make any changes after the fact that you need to. Because this is a date field, we don't have a choice on size, but you, stu you do still have the choice on your entry rules. No rules is the best rule of thumb because if you protect the field, then you cannot put data in it. Field cannot be blank, means if that is checked, you cannot leave a record until you put information in that field. Primary field is if you make a copy of it and only copy primaries, it would be considered part of the primaries. Generate history, every time that field is changed, the old information would go into history. That's an important feature for something you're wanting to track. Block synchronization means that if that is checked, it will not synchronize with either Outlook or your cell phones. So we're going to leave all of these unchecked because it is a date field and we're going to hit save. Changing property fields may cause you to lose data do you want to continue. That has to do with that type field. It's going to pop up every time and you simply say OK. Now we're going to add another field and we're going to call this one contract type. We're going to make it a character and I'm going to make it a little longer so I have a choice. The maximum size you can have is 254. From 254 is a SQL base, you do, that is not a choice that you get to expand. Anything larger than 254 should be put just as a note into Notes in History. Your rules are going to be the same except for only from drop down. That allows you to not allow anyone to make editing changes. Again, you have the field choices here through block, but now you'll notice you have two more choices. One is allow edit list, and the other one is to auto add new items to drop down. So when I hit save, again get the property box, it's going to save and now give me the ability to put in drop down types. And I'm just going to add a couple that might be possibilities in somebody's database. So we've got a one-year, two-year, and three-year contract type, and I'm going to hit save. And now I'm going to add one more field. We're going to call it contract received. I don't need this one to be very big because I'm going to make it a checkbox, so I'm only going to make it three characters. So we have contract date, contract type, and we have received. So now let's la add those to our layout. I'm going to hit save. You're going to want to open up your editor and to do that you have to download it. So you're going to go to customize, download layout tool and you're going to install this on your computer. Once you follow the directions and you've installed it once you do not have to install it again. Then you're going to want to go to customize tabs and layouts. Now the directions for how to use this box are down here at your bottom. So what you're going to want to do is right click on download fields, click save link as, then you're going to want to find your field information. 